Hey everyone, Cody here from the Protocase team. So when it comes to electronic enclosures, some designers and engineers require the enclosure to protect against debris and water. So for today's tech tip, I'm going to give you a few tips that will help towards making your enclosure protected against water. So Protocase is your one-stop shop for custom enclosures, parts, and panels. Our goal is to stock the materials, components, and finishes you require so that you can get your custom parts made quickly and keep your projects moving. Now, when we talk about enclosures that protect against debris and water, many of you will think of NEMA or IP standards. NEMA standards deal with protecting personnel from hazardous internal parts and protecting equipment inside the enclosure against environmental hazards. Specific NEMA enclosure types are put in place to promote standardized product specifications for electrical devices. The NEMA standards cover a really wide range of enclosures, but the NEMA types that are most relevant to our customers go from NEMA Type 1 to NEMA Type 6P. We have a blog post that breaks down each of these NEMA standards and the enclosure styles and design features that are recommended. We've got a link to that blog post below, and for all the nitty-gritty details of these standards, you should go straight to the NEMA or IP websites. So to recap, the role of the NEMA standards is to specify how a certain enclosure must perform to meet its classification. NEMA standards and IP ratings do not prescribe or instruct how to design and manufacture an enclosure to meet performance specs. And that brings us to today's Proto Tech Tip. I should note a disclaimer, however, before we get into this. You should not take any of the info covered in this video as the de facto answer as to which enclosure will provide you with specific NEMA results. If your application requires specific NEMA requirements, we do recommend that you test these yourself, as we can build to the NEMA spec but cannot execute the NEMA testing in-house, nor can we produce any certifications that the enclosure meets a certain NEMA standard. So here's my first tip. You first need to clearly consider what you are trying to achieve. What elements does your enclosure need to be protected against? How much protection do you need to achieve? For example, will your enclosure be submerged in water or will it be exposed to a light spray? Thinking this through will help you make the best design decisions for your specific requirements. So once you've answered those questions, you'll then need to figure out what enclosure style will work best. You want an enclosure style that will have the tightest seal and minimal points of entry. For that, you can go for a fully custom CNC machine enclosure or one of our stock die cast enclosures. We offer options that are watertight, light duty, and others that are watertight and heavy duty. For more information on our customizable die cast enclosures, visit our website or watch our prototech tip, which we've got linked below. But if you're going the road of a sheet metal enclosure, your best bet is a five-sided enclosure with fully seam welded sides. For material, you should opt for either aluminum or stainless steel. We don't recommend U-shape and L-shape enclosures because the geometries of these enclosure styles do not allow for great sealing from the outside environment. So speaking of sealing, our next tip is gaskets. Gaskets are absolutely crucial for achieving an enclosure that can withstand water. An enclosure without gaskets will not have very good chances of achieving the watertight seal that you require. For CNC machine enclosures, your design will need to incorporate an O-ring. This is a mechanical gasket that's designed to be seated in a groove and compressed between two or more parts in order to create a seal. O-rings are effective, inexpensive, and are simple to mount. Another important note, we do not stock O-rings here at Protocase because it would be really difficult to predict the O-rings that we should stock because there are so many options in terms of material, profiles, and diameter. So instead, we can source the O-ring you need for your machine enclosure. For that, my one tip would be to be as specific as possible when noting the O-ring gasket you need. So we can order from our suppliers and install it once your enclosure is machined right here in our facilities. If you are going the route of a customizable die cast enclosure, good news, these enclosures come with the specific rubber gasket required for the enclosure's style and size. So for a five-sided sheet metal enclosure, you'll need a gasket between the base and the cover in order to have the best chances of water not entering the case. Of all the gasket materials we stock here at Protocase, a neoprene rubber would be a solid choice. So next up, fasteners. You want to make sure the enclosure has proper fastener sealing in order to prevent water from coming in the mounting holes. We recommend blind nuts and blind standoffs as well. A blind nut encapsulates your threads, which prevents foreign material from entering. During your design process, you can take steps to place your fasteners strategically so they do not protrude inside of the case. You can also assemble with sealing screws or use a latch and lock to fasten the enclosure fully closed. So we did our own proto experiment a while ago where we tested different types of enclosures by submerging them in water. So while it is absolutely not meant to be the definitive scientific test for waterproof enclosures, it is a great quick video that will at least give you some food for thought. Check out the link below to watch the video in full. So in the end, we're here to make the custom enclosures that you need for your specific project and requirements. If your requirements dictate that you need protection from water, 
Heeding these tips while you make your design decisions should help you meet your end goal. And if you've got a design that you'd like quoted, contact your Protocase account manager or use your request to quote form. If you have specific requirements for achieving a waterproof design, let our team know during the quoting process. So folks, thanks for watching and we'll see you all next week for another one.